Floral. Uh, and we're here with Carol Larson. Carol's the owner. Welcome to the show, Carol. Thank you. Hey, Carol, why don't you tell us a little bit about your business and how you came to Verona? Well, we're a full-service florist, um, which means that um, we specialize in just about everything. Um, fresh cut flowers, plants, gifts. Um, we do weddings. Um, we have families with uh, planning funeral arrangements for their flowers um, for sympathy work. And um, we provide a delivery service of about a 20 mile radius of Verona. And you were previously in Belleville, is that correct? Correct, yes. I was down there for nine years. Is your shop in Belleville still open? or? It is not. I decided to close that, uh, move to Verona. Um, felt there was a void in Verona. A um, little bit bigger market maybe in Verona than Belleville had to offer, but we still service Belleville. Okay. And uh, what prompted you to go into the flower business originally? Actually, it uh, was a class I took in high school. Um, I was looking for an elective and took a horticulture class and ended up managing the Verona Greenhouse, Verona High School Greenhouse for two years and went on to uh, get an associate degree in horticulture. And I just really loved the calmness of working with plants and flowers and uh, the relaxation part of that um, just felt it would be a, a wonderful um, career to uh, to have. That's terrific. I didn't know you had that growing connection through the high school. Yep, yep. I was um, grew up here, graduated from here, and so it was kind of nice to actually bring my business up here. Well, terrific. So. Tell me a little bit about opening the business. What has been among the challenges starting a new business here in Verona? Probably the biggest challenge has been my time management. <laughs> you and everybody else. Yeah, yeah. But other than that, it, it went really smooth, actually. Um, you know, I uh, had a moving company help me with the coolers. That was one of the coolers uh, was a big challenge to find a location for that. It's, it's quite large. It's by eight, and, and so that was a challenge to find a spot uh, to put that in. So. And how did you pick this location here on the corner of Lincoln Street and East Front Avenue? Well, I had actually called the um, city hall and inquired about this house. I, I knew it had been a business in previous years, but it had been vacant for a while. Um, one of the staff at the village hall had suggested that I um, check it out because it was just purchased and they were going to use it for um, retail space or you know be renting it out soon so and I just love the charming of the of the building but it's and I've heard a lot of response from people is that they're happy to see that it's been cleaned up and it actually um, has been preserved to some degree you know so. and how have you been getting the word out about you has that been challenging at all? Um, yeah, it has been. Um, I have been doing some local advertising. Um, word of mouth, though, is really, is really the best form, I think, for me. <laughs> so. Okay, good. Um, if there is one thing that you could tell the people of Verona about your business, maybe they don't know, what would that thing be? Oh, let's see. Um, my philosophy has always been to provide that personal touch to my customers. We like to get to know the customers, what they like as far as plants and fresh flowers. Um, when we do uh, weddings for folks, we actually have a designer that will deliver the wedding and provide that personal touch um, to the bride and the groom. Instead of some shops will have a delivery driver drop the flowers off hours ahead of time. So. Now, do you do the design, uh, any design work here yourself, or do you have staff coming? Um, I have four part-time staff. Okay. I do most of the designing myself and most of the management of the, of the business. So. Okay. What, what's the largest event you've ever, ever worked on? So you've done weddings and that sort of thing? Yep, yep. Um, I do some event work with St. Mary's Hospital as well. I have. Uh, Actually, I had worked there for 25 years, yep. so um, they, you know, know know me and 
and also have that personal touch with them. So, um, if I need to send flowers to my wife for Valentine's Day, I can come right here. That's correct. You sure can. And if you need to send flowers anywhere in the United States or overseas, we can provide that service as well. We are uh, members of Teleflora and FTD. I don't know if mom will see this, but now she's going to be expecting flowers in the answer, so. <laughs> Good to know there's a resource here right in Verona. Yeah. Well, how has the community reacted to your coming back, to, or your coming to Verona? Are you getting a very positive response? Very well, very well. And I've been quite surprised. Uh, a lot of the customers um, comment about how they like to shop local and how they like to support their local businesses. So it, it's been going very well. I've been very happy. Do you have any kind of uh, interesting or unique customer stories so far from your time in Toronto? When exactly did you open, by the way? Uh, we opened July 5th. July 5th. So you've mm -hmm. been, uh, in, in, well, I know you had a bit of a soft opening at first, didn't you? And kind of just keep up and running and then... Yeah. Through. Yeah, I didn't really push hard with the advertising at first just because I wanted to get all my ducks in the row, you know. So, and I had to hire some new staff, so right. I needed to get some training. So, have, do you have any kind of unique customer stories or or special things you've done for customers here in Rome that uh, you share? Um, I'd say probably the most interesting thing is is I've had quite a few people stop in and give me history about this house um, and how it used to be the last house on Verona Avenue and how that used to be all farm field behind us and and um, so yeah just the history on the house has been really interesting. Yeah I've lived here 26 years and when I moved to Verona there was nothing to the east of you, except for the, the uh, Dane County home, which is no longer there. So. Right, right. Yeah, this is a, a very historic building. Yeah, um, yeah. Now, has being in a historic building and older building presented challenges to you at all? Um, a little bit. You know, the spaces are a little bit more smaller to work with, but but I think, you know, we're making it work, and, and I think it just adds so much charm. It is very, very charming and it looks really nice with the hardwood floors and, yes, yeah, and uh, yeah. the spiral staircase in the corner. Yeah. Um, that's really pretty neat. So, um, now if somebody wanted to contact your business here, how would they go about doing it? What's your, what's your phone number and address and business hours? Our number is 848-6511. We are open Monday through Thursday, 9 to 6. Fridays, 9 to 5. And Saturdays, 9 to 1. And you have a delivery person who delivers in Verona here? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. We and deliver it. six days a week and um, try to stay in about a 20-mile radius of Verona. So we'll go to Mount Hora, Belleville, the west side of Madison. Okay. And um, one thing I noticed, where's the best place to park for your business? You're right on that yeah, challenging corner here. That is a challenge for folks. Um, as most Verona residents know, this section here is quite busy on East Verona Avenue. So uh, there is parking available on Lincoln Street, or we do have a small parking lot at the end of the property that, that you can access off of Lincoln Street. And you can come in the front or back door. Correct. Yes. Right. Yes. So it's, uh, it's a great little shop and easy to get to. So uh, you just got to think where you park. So. Well, uh, anything else you want to share about your business or your time here coming to Verona? Um, I'd say, a, you know, another strong point of ours is um, I, I try to buy as much local product as I can. Um, so a lot of the plants will come out of Wisconsin, Illinois. Um, some of the vendors I use, um, product is manufactured in Minnesota. Um, in the Midwest or in the United States. So I try my hardest, I guess, to try to keep um, all our dollars in the United States as much as possible. Okay, well, and I always promise our guests on uh, Chatting with the Chamber that this is not a challenging 60 minutes type interview, but as we've been standing here, I, I thought of one really challenging question. I'm going to put you on the spot because I see some of your product here. Is it point set up or point setting up? It's poinsettia. <laughs> You've heard it here from our expert in Verona. Poinsettia, she says. So thank you, Carol, for being here on the show. Uh, best of luck. We're really excited to have you here in Verona. Thanks. And it's good talking with you. Thank you. I'm excited too. All right. Okay.
Thanks. And welcome back for the third episode, uh, segment of today's Chatting with 